hard. <laughs> I told my kids this morning about Patrice and, uh, you know, and I listened to, because I told, I told them I'm going here afterwards and then all his friends are going to be here. And, and so I turned it on and there's fucking, is he here still, Bobby? Did he oh, leave? Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby got, yeah. Just left. He's, yeah. I turned on it and Bobby's, he's not even saying anything. <laughs> he's just, and the fuck. We're all at the fucking cellar last night, and we're fucking. He's just telling a story. He could be saying anything. He's like, "We're all at the fucking cellar, and fucking, what's his name is there, and fucking." He's not upset. He's not. Yeah. It's just this shit that comes out of his fucking mouth. I think he just caught a pop. And my daughters are six and nine. I'm going. I'm trying to ride the fucking volume. Ride the volume. Yeah, yeah. And they can't enjoy people's oh, emotions no. about their fucking past friend because right. of this. Fucking. <laughs> and so they go like, "Why does he?" They had to ask like why does this person because it sounds crazy yeah of course <laughs> if you don't listen to it all the time it's like what's wrong with this it's yeah. beyond Tourette's it's like that's so odd because here well when he was here talking into yeah. the mic Didn't you feel... don't realize it because he he's says here. fuck a lot yeah. but yeah. I guess Bobby if you're listening to it, to it on the radio it's you really especially with children yes. right yeah. oh. but I explained to them that Patrice and Bobby and I came from Boston and that there was I, I told them what it's like to do comedy there that there's drunk Irish people I'm getting them I'm getting them I'm teaching them stereotypes <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> The Irish Bostonians get wasted, and they just and they sing na 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 na. Hey, hey you got to chant it off stage, oh. and so people had different ways to survive that. And uh, Bobby's was I explained to the kids the difference between like you're trying to tell a story. So I went to the store, and the guy there was really uh, mean to me. Right. Nobody's listening. They're throwing stuff at you. Because I went to the fucking store, and the fucking guy was a fucking asshole. Like, it's a way of charging through the shit. Like, that's what turns guys like that. Oh, shit. And then Patrice was just this enormous a mountain that sat on stage. He was just a mountain. Uh, a yeah. whole other approach to being listened to by those audiences. Yeah. Bostonians terrified of... Giant black man. <laughs> yeah, just a huge uh, presence. Uh, yeah. Did you start out with him on the stage? No, so. he came uh, up uh, after I'd left Boston, and then he just showed up here as this right. Boston, yeah, young, enormous Boston guy, bigger than life. He's just, yeah, he didn't yeah. have to move around on stage or anything. Oh, he no. just so last time there I just saw him on stage, we did a, uh, the nasty show in Chicago, <laughs> at the Vic Theater, and it was me and him and Nick DiPaolo. Were you on that show? I don't remember if you were What there. year was it? Uh, I did that with Geraldo and Patrice a year and a half ago. I don't know if I was on that one. But he closed the show. I hosted it, and he went on last. And he was, I mean, it's just, he would just stand there. and yeah. Fucking, he was, he was really starting to hit a stride, too. He was mm. getting great. I mean, he's always been one of my favorite comedians, like, always in, like, the top three since I first saw him. Wow. But in the last few years, he just started to get great. Like, he figured, every comedian hits some point where they figure out their thing. Mm -hmm. Like, they... The Hellraiser box, they click it right. <laughs> <laughs> it starts yeah. fucking, everybody starts coming out of the doors, <laughs> pinheading everybody. And he just did hit that. I mean, just that last special was incredible. He was just starting Amazing. to figure out yeah. how to make his thing really work. Yeah, but, and, uh, and off stage, to be able to do that on stage is fantastic. But then off stage, just to hang out and bullshit about stuff and make it genuinely funny. Any fucking subject that would come up in here when he was sitting here. He half had, hour. Yeah. He had something he had on it. At yeah. least he a half had hour on, on it. No, he, I was telling, I was trying to explain him to my kids because I, I want them to Good understand luck. what this stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. means. Besides <laughs> that, he was big black guy and he said crazy shit. <laughs> um, I had to like, I'm explaining him. I had to say that he was black at some point. Like it didn't matter, <laughs> but at some point I had to say he was a huge black guy. <laughs> Like it, it, I didn't. It didn't actually wasn't material to anything I had to say about it. <laughs> right, him. but you do. You feel compelled yeah, to, him to, to describe yeah. him like that. Yeah. And also the life lesson that you got to fucking take care of yourself. But uh, yes, true. You know, yeah, which is yeah. it makes me angry at him. But uh, it's just that's the you know biggest substance abuse problem amongst black people is cherry coke. But still the biggest killer. <laughs> But I told them, I thought of a bit that they, he did here that I was able to explain to them. And for a six and a nine year old to grasp it was kind of weird, but they got it because of his wording, which was um, about Plaxico or whatever the guy's name was who shot yeah. himself. Yeah. Plaxico Plaxico Burris. Burris. Yeah, yeah, the thing that he said about how his, you know, he was rich now living in a mansion and he had a choice in life. He could live, hang out with rich white guys and play golf, 
or hang out with black guys that he grew up with, but if he uh, who are fun. But in order to do that, he had to carry a gun because those guys are fucking stupid. And they're all carrying <laughs> so, like, live amongst your own, but he's not stupid. He's yeah. rich now. <laughs> so he had to carry a weapon in order to hang out with his own people. <laughs> That's such an acute observation. That's where he would find these, like, cracks in the... The little things. Oh, yeah, no God. one else was thinking about. And my about. kids were howling. They, they got yeah. why that was funny. Wow. There would, be, there would be shit that, like, I pondered for years and when the subject came up i felt all good about being able to discuss it and talk about it and then i was saying before in one sentence he'd wrap it up yeah. and and be like how did i never see that and he'd close the book on it yeah, yeah. done say, here's that's it. That's... here's what it is yeah that, and then that's it. And that's where everyone now has to refer to Patrice versus the people. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he said Patrice versus, he said yes. <laughs> well, Patrice versus the people for racial harmony. <laughs> exactly. No, and he, I mean, I remember he, like the, the famous thing of him going on whatever it was on Fox News. Yeah, we, we just played, played that. Yeah. He got, the, this is a woman who actually dresses up to go and protest a rape joke, and he makes her laugh at a rape joke. She laughed at it. She, she absolutely he made, did. That's the power of what he did. Yeah, he yeah. Couldn't, she even she couldn't deny it. This woman whose whole I, whole life is, I'm going to go act outraged. Right. Yeah. And she had to go, shit, shit that's, that's funny. funny. That's funny. Fuck, that's funny. That's that's funny. funny. <laughs> I wonder what she's doing now. That yeah. couldn't have been good when she went back to the office. Changed her path. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was doing really no, like to know that that comedy all right he, was, he was a guy who forced people. <laughs> he, he also didn't take any easy roads himself. Like everybody does some bullshit version of themselves. Everybody right. does. I do. I have like a bunch of jokes that I know are just there because ah, oh, old fat, oh, you know, right. overweight, <laughs> middle aged. It's dad. Like, I got a bunch of those, and I'm going kind of, <laughs> Ace in the hole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But forced, he has... I was going to say, he forced you to be honest, man. Yeah, and he he didn't do that himself. Like, he was such an atypical... The first thing he ever did that, made, that I saw that made me go, this guy is special, was mm -hmm. uh, his bit about how he loves the Beatles. Yeah. And the, the pressure as a black guy <laughs> to have certain trappings, and he says, I love the Beatles, but I can't. And he do it, you know, this visual of him riding around in a Cadillac. <laughs> we all live in <laughs> Yellow Submarine. Look in the hood. What's up, G? <laughs> yellow Submarine. <laughs> yellow Submarine. But uh, that's not your typical uh, no. big black guy bit. No, no. We 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 got into so many great uh, racial uh, conversations on this show. Oh yeah, and uh, you know he 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 just slammed me. And mm -hmm. uh, but the great thing was, the second the show ended, you know, we'd be walking down the, the sidewalk, going to the parking garage, and he's just you know, hey, how, how's how's your pool? <laughs> what's, that like? what's that like? Your pool and shit? That, that cool? No, my favorite like, part of being so on this show, cool. <laughs> I loved being on when he was on, because he'd get, like, we could, we would lock horns on stuff and get, like, we, I, I told him once I wasn't attracted sexually to black women, <laughs> yeah. and he tested me for, like, two hours, <laughs> saying, saying that that meant I'm gay. Like, it means I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, so he would go, like, and he, it was, he started doing this bit where he'd be like, please bring up, like, and it was like he, a lawyer asking for... He was like, uh, uh, please bring up fatbooty.com. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go to the website. He's like, you know, really? Nothing? There's nothing uh, that you can... Yeah. You know what? Bring up... Yeah, you know, <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that's Ryan. juicy. P pissing on black tits. <laughs> <dot net. laughs> and he'd, think, he'd come up and he'd go, this? You don't like this? <laughs> references, man. But we would go <laughs> at it here. And then, yeah, we'd walk... I'd, the best part, though, was walking ho down to the subway with him. And then we'd stand on, like, 6th Avenue and, and 7th. Or with fifty seventh, and just stand there for like four hours. Yeah, and yeah. Just talk. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. And he'd say openly s sexual things to every woman that walked <laughs> by, and they would all smile. <laughs> you look yeah. delicious. Yeah, he's just like, look at you with those pants. <laughs> oh, ass, what kind of panties you got on? Pink. Oh, Bye. Fuck. Good morning. He would hold yeah, corn on a street corner. Yeah, yeah when well, we would do the when we would do the walkover at the old station. Right. And we'd be walking to XM. Uh, and Patrice would just stop and talk to any girl yeah. mm -hmm. that was walking, and they would engage him. Yes. They would talk <laughs> to no, him. Like and it's right. like, why aren't they running? <laughs> they he running would disarm you because he was funny and silly and he wasn't threatening. And right. it was he like, look at him. But you would the, think he would be threatening. Right, you. right. Uh, I mean, just his physical presence right. would mm -hmm. be threatening. And the ability. Uh, maybe to, uh, that's what it was. It was the relief. It's like, oh, yes, no, here's, right. here's this huge <laughs> yeah. black guy. He's, not he's got kind of a me. sweet voice. <laughs> the, oh, I want to hug yeah, him now. We were at the comic strip one time, and there was a girl he liked at a Christmas party. And he's like trying to play hard to get. He's like, I'm not. 
not going to talk to her. And he didn't talk to her, and she didn't come over. And I said, you fucking idiot. You think that she, you're being, like, hard to get. She's happy. You're not talking to her. <laughs> she doesn't like you. <laughs> he really thought that she was being intrigued by his uh, evasiveness. Yeah. <laughs> He's just happy that this fucking fat uh, creep was leaving her alone. The, the ability to uh, <laughs> diffuse his, his physical presence with mm. something so fast, like that quickly when he started Little talking to you, words. is amazing. Yeah. Like, because you, you would just look and go, ah, big black man, <laughs> yeah. must be afraid, must yeah. cross street. Uh, now, he but was it, an empathetic person, too. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. what made him a great comic, is he, that he saw, you know, he had insight because he was yeah. empathetic. But he was yep. a guy who would, like, talk to him for five minutes, he'd start asking you about your life. And, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, going on every single time. Hey, you like your truck? Yeah. Be talking about my truck and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got minus. I like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? Where is this conversation going? Well, you, knew, <laughs> you knew it wasn't a conversation. Yeah, yeah. He was basically fishing for information, yeah, and yeah. when he was done, he was just going to walk away <laughs> or get off the phone. It wasn't like, yes. I really want to know about right. your truck. It was, yes. I, I need a piece of this and a piece of that, oh, and then I'm done with you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to put on my bowler hat and go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Cotton Jesus. Club. <laughs> yeah. He had a lot of looks. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck. Remember, he pulled off the Pink Panther pink shirt. How, how we didn't how rip him apart We tried, for that. too, man. Yeah, he was wearing a pink Panther bright pink, pink, pink shirt, shirt with the Pink Panther on there. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Only he could get away with that. Holy Walking fuck. in here with that shit on. It had the Pink Panther on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it, yeah. it, it had, uh, <laughs> what? Sequins on oh, it, too. Sequins it was, and it glitter. Was and, oh, Holy what the fuck. fuck he was trying to pull off with that one? We tried. <laughs> we, didn't, <laughs> we didn't get the best of him that day. Uh, Dude, one of the funniest day. days in here <laughs> ever was, uh, we. he was in here, and we started talking about food from around the country. And he started trashing every city's food. And he's going, he's going, Chicago deep dish pizza stinks. It fucking stinks. And the phones are just fucking lighting up. The whole world yeah. is hating on him. Yeah, That's Texas great. barbecue. Oh, we got the best barbecue. Right. Fuck your barbecue. <laughs> fucking. You took them all on, though, man. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. Fuck yeah. So many good fucking. Uh. But it's yeah. like I was saying, like every every subject we came up with, uh, half yeah, hour. When when uh, one of the funniest things was uh, when we were talking about the cruise ship deaths, and uh, <laughs> how it's just so easy to kill your significant other on a cruise ship. They they circle around three times and then leave the scene of the crime. You just gotta push them overboard. In no a evidence. Giant ocean. Yeah. And he like took it the extra step to to do the uh, the Rasta man selling rock coats. To your significant other, <laughs> buy a rock coat, man, and you put it on and push your loved one over the edge, and they just sink right to the bottom. They Fucking even, hilarious! They even did that to Bin Laden. That's even how they got rid yeah, of him. Yeah, get rid of him. You're never gonna find him. It's the ocean. The ocean. Yeah, but people were bringing up so many things, and there's just like I said, literally, if you strung them back to back, days wow. worth, worth of oh, shit yeah. that uh, is just material that isn't stuff on stage. It's you right. know, it's just conversation. Well, most of the stuff he didn't even do in his act. No. no right. It's just him Well, that's talking. the beauty of it. I mean, Great. not to kiss your asses, but that's the beauty of you guys. Um, most of the stuff you do on our show, you don't do on stage.